Well, we're going to do some focused work now on helping us keep our souls great, healthy, alive, energetic. Reverend Ken Shigematsu, thank you for helping us understand what spiritual practices are that help us thrive. So let's start with that. What is a spiritual practice? Right. I tend to be a forgetful person. And so if my wife phones me and asks me to remember to buy milk on the way home from work, I will write milk on a yellow post-it note <laughs> okay. and then put the post-it note on my bicycle seat to remind me. Okay. A spiritual practice is like a sticky note reminder that tells us again and again that we are loved by God. And, and these are like disciplines, events that you work in often in your life? Uh, that's right. And so a practice is something that awakens us to a sense that, that we're loved by God. They don't act like jet propulsion, which lifts an airplane mm -hmm. 30,000 feet into the air. They're more like tuning into radio waves. Though invisible, God is around us all the time. And so the practices open our eyes to the presence and love of God. Okay, so how do you know if your soul needs a practice, if you need that bit of a wake up? Yeah, so if you're feeling disconnected from God or even from yourself, as James Joyce said in one of his characters, if like Mr. Duffy, you feel like you're living a little distance from your body, that could be a sign. If you're feeling a lot of anxiety, if you're snapping at people around you, that could be a sign as well. Anxiety is so high right now. Mm -hmm. So you have lined up, uh, we're gonna go through eight different disciplines, mm -hmm. okay? We're gonna start with uh, silence, Sabbath keeping, mm -hmm. there's uh, gratitude, less is more. Mm -hmm. um, what, what posture do I need to be in to start this journey now into learning what a spiritual practice is and how I might use it? Right. There's a story of a little fish that was swimming down a river toward the ocean in search of the ocean, gets to the ocean and then approaches this larger older fish and says, excuse me, Mr. Fish, <laughs> can you tell me where the ocean is? And the big fish says, it's all around you. And the little fish says, oh, this, this is just water. And disappointed swims away. Well, the presence of God, like the ocean for the fish, is around us all the time. And so if we believe that and then use the practices to simply open our eyes to that reality. That's the best starting point. Okay, Reverend Ken Shigematsu, uh, the author of the Survival Guide for the Soul. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna work on how do you practice the, the, the discipline, I guess I would call it a discipline of silence mm. and how that wakes up your soul. Mm. All right, that's tomorrow and here's how you can get a copy of Ken's great book, Survival Guide for the Soul.